Hello, you're watching Got Space Game and it's time for DCS and 3 or less. Today we're in the A10C2, showing how to ripple drop the Wick Mid on multiple targets in one pass. We're dropping the CBU 105 version, which dispenses homing anti tank submunitions. As always, useful control bindings will be on screen at the end of the video. Check Master Arm and TGP on. Guns and laser too, just in case. Bring up the stores page and select your stations with CBU 105 or 103s if you've got those. Put targeting pod in air to ground mode. Select a steer point that's somewhere near your target. This will create a speed at that steer point. Press and hold China hat forward to point all sensors at the speed. Coolly right long to soy the targeting pod and China hat forward to zoom. Use the boat switch to set an IR mode and slew to your first target. DMS forward and aft to zoom in and out. There's four groups of vehicles, we're going to put a mark point on each one. That's a group of tanks, TMS right to mark them. You won't see any confirmation yet that the mark point's been created. TMS right to mark those silkworm launchers. Once more for these APCs. And the final mark point goes on this last group of APCs. In our current mode we can only see or deal with the last mark point that we set. In order to see all four, turn the steer point dial to mark. Pressing the steer point rocker switch will now cycle the speed wedding cake between the mark points. Note that the TGP pointing doesn't follow however. Press and hold China hat forward once more to slave all sensors to the speed. Now your TGP will follow as you choose your mark point using the UFC rocker switch. Quick side note. I've got the UFC rocker switch mapped to my HOTAS, as this works even without the HUD being soy. I've positioned my head so that I can see the left hand HUD column and the stores page. You can use the camera transpose keybind if you don't have head tracking. Warning, autopilot. Turning in towards the targets now. HUD shows the range to the target, and when you're close enough, the dynamic range scale. On that range scale you've got the maximum, minimum and optimal range for the wick mid. You've also got a countdown timer to when you come in range. Finally you've got your bomb fall line, you need to fly roughly in the direction of that. It's kind of hard to tell when these bombs come off a rail, so we'll keep an eye on the stores page to make sure. We're in range, I'm putting three bombs onto the first group of tanks, press and hold weapon release for each drop. Next mark point, pickle. Next mark point, pickle. Final mark point, pickle. Each wick mid drops 10 submunitions, which descend on parachute before launching 4 homing skeets for a total of 40 bangs per bomb. The skeets use lasers and IR sensors to detect targets that are underneath them, and then fire shape charges to finish the job. Anything that doesn't find a target will explode above the ground. I've been Dan, you've been watching DCS in 3 or less from Got Space Game. Massive thanks to all my Kofi supporters. If you found this video useful, please share it and subscribe to the channel for more 3 minute DCS tutorials covering all of your favourite modules.